Welcome to Garner Update. I'm your host, Kendrick Mays. The Town of Garner at its November 7th meeting approved a 400 unit residential development on 120 acres off of Auburn Nightdale Road. The developer of the project, Cal Atlantic, will target buyers over 55 for the homes which are expected to sell in the mid $300,000 range. The neighborhood will include greenway trails and other amenities. The project will take several years to build out. The Town of Garner's Garner Forward video has earned a second place 2016 Excellence in Communications Award from the North Carolina Association of Government Information Officers. The video was primarily the work of PEG Media Partners videographer, director, and editor Adam Carroll and the town's communications manager Rick Mercer. The goal of the two-minute video was to encourage citizen engagement in the planning department's update of the town's comprehensive and transportation plans. The video can be found on the town's YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash town of Garner. Speaking of the Garner Forward Project, there will be an open house on Wednesday, December 14th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at White Deer Park Nature Center. The open house will be an opportunity for residents to see how the Garner Forward plans are progressing toward a first draft. Town staff and town consultants will be available to answer questions. If you missed that event, you can visit the project website garnerforward.com to learn more and to find out how you can become involved. The Garner Police Department recently swore in two new officers, Anthony Bria and Chad Gorman. Bria is a Connecticut native. He attended the Raleigh Police Academy, graduating in March 2016. Bria joins Garner PD after serving in the Raleigh Police Force for a little over a year. Gorman is from Annapolis, Maryland. He previously served in the Wilson County Sheriff's Office for five years, where he gained experience as a detention officer, school resource officer, patrol duty, and corporal on patrol. He attended basic law enforcement training at Coastal Plains Law Enforcement Training Center and graduated in 2012. Chief Brandon Zudema spoke at the swearing-in ceremony about the department's and community's expectations of its officers. First, we expect you to be a leader each and every day. Doesn't matter if you're the newest person, the most senior person, regardless, when you put on that badge and that uniform, we expect you to be a leader. It's not your name, it's not your rank, not your experience that matters to the citizens of Garner. It's the fact that you're a Garner police officer, that you're respected because of what you represent, and that you can be trusted to help no matter what the problem. The town of Garner held its two signature holiday events on December 2nd and 3rd. Hundreds brave chilly temperatures to enjoy the light up main tree lighting. The event included local entertainment and usual visits from Santa and Mrs. Claus. The next day, Garner held its always popular Christmas parade. This year's parade was quite a bit larger than usual with a total of 79 entries. The parade is being broadcast on GTV 11 and can be viewed on demand at garnernc.gov and at youtube.com backslash town of Garner. Well, that's it for this edition of Garner Update. Thanks for watching. I'm Kendrick Mays.